Just over my shoulder is a sign that says Rough and Tough, Rough and Tough Road, but its spelling is different than the one you're going to find on 911 physical addresses and in the PVA offices and even a couple real estate listings. Over the course of about a half hour with minimal searching, one can find that Rough and Tough has separate spellings in Floyd County's 911 registry, in the files at the Property Valuation Administrator's Office, and on at least two separate real estate listings. While resident Jim Dotson, whose family once owned much of the land, said the original spelling was in the traditional. It was the creek that was spelled R-U-F-F -F and T-U-F-F. -F. Let's talk about rough and tough, buddy. <laughs> what about it? <laughs> Floyd County PBA David Lane has had his share of experience with the place. It's been, uh, I've seen it rough, like R-O-U-G-H, and then also uh, in and and it's it's and it's mostly done by deeds and I think that's attorneys you know when somebody comes in and uh, there was a deed from 1910 let's say and a family owned a property like there's a bunch of Dotsons that live up in rough and tough and uh, a lot of family farm and, and they give that to their child or their grandchild or grandchild sells it to somebody else one attorney may spell it one way and one attorney another way. So it's, uh, but no, it's, we've seen many different spellings of rough and tough. Journey into the extraordinary. Blast off from any of our three locations. Coal Run, Caney, or South Williamson. Hideaway, novelty, smoke, and vape. Lane also says the differences have never caused any problems in the county. He says that people just know where rough and tough is when it's brought up and that's enough. I, I think it's, you know, if somebody calls 911 and they say, yeah, I live at 132 Rough and Tough, that's pretty well, I don't, normally, uh, that's probably not sp uh, spelled, you know, they have to spell it or anything of that nature, and, and uh, for the most part, uh, I would think there wouldn't probably be a legality to it because people know where it's at, and then you can trace it back to the following deed, so uh, it's just, uh, <laughs> it's different. <laughs> There's one instance, according to Lane's database, of at least one resident who has three separate addresses with different spellings or variations on rough and tough. And in the meantime, there's also several listings where it's called a road and others where it's referred to as a branch. Oosley or Owsley or tomato, tomato, probably just how somebody says it. So. Reporting for Mountaintop News, I'm Sheldon Kempton.